Curly Sue and if this is the first time you're coming to my kitchen, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm making a French onion tart. Well, it's kind of like a cheese and onion tart that's a little bit fancy. So instead of having pastry on the top and the bottom, this only has pastry on the top. And it's nice puff pastry. It's really quick and easy to make and it's only got a few ingredients. I really try to find recipes for you that are easy to make so you don't find it a chore making these. And these are really delicious and you're gonna love them. So let's make our French onion tarts. So for this recipe, you're going to need one white onion and you're going to peel and you're going to peel it and thinly slice it. And then you're going to need a few tablespoons of olive oil. This is the type that I use. And also a few tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. You're also going to need some vegan cheese. This is the brand that I usually go for. And then also some sheets of puff pastry. Right, first of all, you want to line a baking tray with some greaseproof paper, like I have here, and set that aside. So slice the onions like this. So slice it into rings, so you can see the thickness. So you're not too thick and not too thin. Set that aside. Then with the baking tray that we've already prepared, you're going to drizzle, drizzle some olive oil, like that, and then a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and then place the onion on top, like that. And do that until you fill up the whole tray. Once you've done that, place a little bit of cheese on top of each of the onion rings, just like that. It doesn't leave a huge amount, just enough to cover the top of the onion. There you go, one more. There. You can tidy it up a bit, just move them in. So it's neat because we're going to cover it in a moment with some pastry. Now traditionally these are done in squares but I've decided to do round circles of pastry for these. So now we're going to cut out some circles of the puff pastry using a large cookie cutter. So do that here, and then you're going to press it down over the onion and crimp it. So just take a fork and go like that at the edge so it stays downwards. Just give it a good press so it goes all the way down. And that's the first one. Just gonna put the little thing in the top. And then you keep going until you've covered all of them. So after more than 20 minutes, remove them from the oven and then we're going to flip one over so you can see what it looks like on the other side. So I'm 
just going to take a fresh slice as you can see on there it looks ooey and gooey and cheesy and then you just drizzle with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and then you're going to bite into it so now I'm going to drizzle with a little bit of the balsamic and then it's ready So now I'm going to bite into it. Mmm, really nice. The pastry is light and flaky, and you get the cheesiness, but it's not too cheesy. And then the balsamic gives it a nice acidic kick to it, and the onion just tops it off. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Delicious. Really delicious. Super quick and easy to make. And they taste divine. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos that I post just like this one every single week. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.